wonderful day. Been up since four o'clock this morning. Uh, taught a uh, team training down at the Spurling Fitness, which is now just a jaunt down the road for me. Met my uh, new house. Uh, same old chair, different place. I don't think I'm gonna be shooting all my videos here. I don't really like the backdrop. Um, a little light coming in, natural and artificial. Well, we'll figure this out as we go along. Today I want to talk about uh, dealing with anxiety. So this is actually a subject I talked about at my last um, meeting at uh, Sperling Fitness. And I originally was going to talk about fear, and then I realized what I really want to talk about was anxiety. And so really the difference is fear is an actual defined event, meaning there is somebody that's going to cause me actual harm. It's something that you can actually, you, you know what it is. Whereas anxiety is, is not defined. It's more fluid, it's more mental in the head, um, irrational, not always irrational. Um, anxiety is good for predictive. So I should have anxiety when going into buying a house because uh, if I don't, I might not do all the proper research uh, to make sure I'm actually getting a good deal. So there should be some, but irrational anxiety is not so good. Uh, examples of this, I woke up on, uh, last week I was on vacation or a week before, and Saturday during a hike, I could not get the fear out of going back to work. I thought, oh my word, um, I'm gonna have some work to do, I'm gonna be piled up, the session's gonna be awful, and there's just all this anxiety. And it, <clears throat> and it was trying to ruin my day. And in that situation, so we can have these anxieties for reasons. Uh, I had anxiety of moving, uh, so much work, so little time. And what the best thing that I found to deal with it and doing some research um, is by confronting those anxieties. And so in that situation is saying, okay, is this really rational? How, how likely is this to happen? How likely in all reality is it likely to happen that I'm gonna have just this awful day at work? Well. It's never really happened. So it's probably not that likely. So you can kind of talk yourself um, down by looking, how, how possible is that? The other one is, of course, is, okay, so what, what, what happens if it's the worst case scenario? What happens if I'm all piled up and I have a, I have a bad day? We'll play that out, what, what happens? Okay, well, I have to work harder. Um, I, Hopefully I don't have bad sessions, but it could happen. And so you go through that scenario well, and then you come up with an action plan. Sometimes that can help. And then you just go back to really, well, how plausible is that really to happen? So that's, those are the ways that I found to work with anxiety, really confronting it and then asking a couple of questions with, okay, is that really likely? And then, okay, if it did happen, what would you do about it? Um, yeah, and we see that a lot in our, our fitness life with dealing with changes, getting anxieties, um, fears of, of going to the gym, uh, fears of starting something new, and they all start in the head, and then from there it may prevent us from doing what we want to do. And so really asking how likely is that to really happen? Um, or what's, what's the worst case? And a lot of times it's not that bad. So that is all I have for today. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you, get your feedback, how you guys deal uh, with anxiety. Um, as always, feel free to check out my website at joshwilliamsfitness.com for all my latest goings on. And I will see you all next week. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.